Well, what do you think of that? Should have heard what I thought when I heard that. And boy, Danny, you don't mess around. Pomona just was a few weeks ago. But we are excited, actually. And you know, I've always said, I've always had girls, even our grandbaby with Robert and Adrian was a girl. And I always blamed the water in your Belinda. <laughs> so Lori, you put away the names that I wanted if a boy happened to come along. Axel, Bubba, and Spartacus. <laughs> It'll work. Actually, Spartacus was my brother's idea. Uh, well, Obama always said change is good. I don't know if it works for him, but it's working for me. And um, I fit right into this town perfect with Richard Nixon, because he embellished like me, didn't he? A little bit? Boy, that must have been a touchy thing, Mayor. <laughs> Sorry, Mayor. <laughs> um, okay, well, I've always got an A, B, and C plan, but actually, your mother and I were really proud, and we thank you. And we know out there is that dream you've always had, to start a family, but we also know that dream's out there to win an NHRA Full throttle championship, like Robert and myself has. So you'll get your opportunity. And your hot rods there ready when you're ready to come back. So let's move here and make a change. I had to put things into place. So Compton's about to faint out there. Hang with me, Tom. Um, Mike Neff, stand up. Where you at, Mike? Stand up, stand up Mike. Y'all know Mike Neff. Uh, he came over. Uh, he had a shot, he won the championship, uh, beat me in 06, I think, with Gary Selsey, driving for Schumacher, one of my best friends, uh, the dad. Boy, none of my jokes are working here today. It was 05. Well, who's counting? Anyway, uh, Mike Neff was brought over to have the opportunity to drive, and he did a great job. Uh, went in the final race, uh, I think it was 09, 09. Uh, yeah, the year Robert took the championship at Pomona. And then because of budget cuts, we had to park the Ford Mustang. And um, I told Mike, I always keep my word. If that opening day ever came, uh, you know, and there's an open door right here to drive a hot rod. So <clears throat> I know you didn't know for sure. You'd heard rumor. Uh, but Mike Neff, the crew chief that took me to the NHRA Full Throttle Championship, the 15th that I needed to get a contract from Castro. You'll be tuning and also driving, so stand up your own funny car next year. <laughs> now everybody's gonna ask, where the hell am I going, to Florida with Coyle? <laughs> Actually, there's another individual in this room, Dean Antonelli, stand up, Dean. Dean Antonelli's an individual, come to work for me over 16 years, and Kelly was in the back, his wife. Kelly, raise your hand. Kelly never wants credit for anything, but she runs everything. Mark Quaternick told me on this bill, working with Craig, if I hadn't had Kelly on the phone helping me orchestrate, she just does a little bit of everything. And that's why the business in Indy, you, you and Guido, along with running your hot rods, are having all that dumped on you with no raise. What do you think about that? Well, we'll, we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. But um, nothing would make a father prouder to get into a hot rod uh, yeah, Rick Lawler, you're about to faint over there, but I did call Tom McKernan this morning. <laughs> I always talked to the main man, but he knew it was coming. He's family to us, and, and Castro knew, and, 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 and Ford and everybody, that, that something was coming. I just didn't know for sure because they wouldn't tell me. And when they got the heartbeat, they told me, my wife right down to the wire wouldn't lay this on me. Because she said, John, if we told you, it'd be on ESPN tomorrow. Because you can't keep a secret, and that is true. So... <laughs> Ashley's little secret, so pretty cool. But Dean Antonelli, you took Ashley to back-to-back -back wins. First woman to win in a fuel funny car, first woman to win Indy back-to-back. -back. Only a few have ever done that, and John Force, I've never done that. Maybe I'll get a shot to come back. But Guido, you're stuck with me, because I'm gonna drive my baby girl's hot rod, and you were taught by the best, Austin Coyle, and I'm going with you, and Robert, you and I are going after Mike Neff because he thinks he's hot stuff right now and he's going to spank us, so we're, we're, we're going to give him that. So, 
just, uh, I know we've rolled on and on here. I just want to thank you. We're excited. So I will be driving the Castro Ford uh, high mileage car. Mike Neff, you'll be driving the Cast Castro GTX um, GTX Ford. So carrying all the sponsors, Auto Club, Brand Source, Mac Tool, everybody. So at the end of the day, I know we got hot rods to change, and I'm sorry I couldn't tell you. So we got about a week, right? Mm -hmm. But I had to wait for doctors to tell her that it was okay to tell her dad. I had an idea, and uh, so uh, that's where we're at. Caught a little off guard. So if you'll uncover the next car, uh, Josh, I promised Josh a TV studio. I embellished 11 years ago when I hired him. We'll have this studio. And he said, I've been here 11 years. I got nothing but one eBay. So I did keep my word, didn't I, Josh? At a Starbucks we were at. Yes. Um, I wish my baby girl was here. They're all my baby girls. Adra, Ashley, Brittany, and Courtney, Autumn. Um, and uh, But Ashley, you're going to have your hands full with your duties. ESPN's going to want you in the box. You know what I'm saying? Because they were figuring on Courtney out there too. And with all your stuff with Castro and Ford and Auto Club, you're going to be brand source. I'm sorry that all this has been dumped on you, running the entertainment side, but you've been running that anyway for the last few years. But now you're gonna have to teach that girl, you and Robert and Mike Neff and, and a little bit of me. But she's got so much to learn, she doesn't know what's out there, but she wants it, folks. You know what I mean? You know, Ashley was more of a, an introvert, so to speak, kept it all inside and said what had to be said. Courtney's just the opposite. Oh my God. Ashley's like her mom, and, 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 and Courtney's a lot like me. But I tell you, Ashley, you knew how to drive that hot rod like me, and you knew how to talk smarter than me. So I'm going to close here. I can't give a speech on Courtney. She had it all written. I'm not going to read it and screw it up. Um, at the end of the day, she did graduate from Fullerton just a week ago. She got her credentials in communication in the arts. She studied down the same road. She didn't want to be like her dad. She wanted to be like her sister all of her sisters, and she wanted to drive like Ashley. And uh, it's a whole new adventure for me, Tom. Uh, we'll keep fighting for you, I give you my word. We love what we do, none of us are going away. Ashley wants that championship. She's just got a little detour here, you know what I mean, uh, of what she needs to do, and, and God bless you on that journey. So, I'm gonna turn it back over, thank you. I know we took a lot of your time and you're busy. Thank you everybody for being here, and um, and I'll turn it back over to Reinhardt. And thank you, Reinhardt. He was at the doctor at 5 this morning. And if it, don't think it doesn't count to know John Forrest. When he told his doctor he had to do this deal, the guy came in at 5 in Vegas so he could get here. So wow. thank you. Thank you, John. Yeah, that's, that's a true story. Of course, you know, in keeping with the I don't lie, I embellish a little bit. I got a phone call about a week ago that said, we need you to come out here and do a press conference for us on Tuesday. I said, I'm having LASIK on Monday. And they said, can you cancel it? <laughs> come That's on. That's a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> but we made adjustments and I got here. I just have a couple of notes and then we're going to turn everybody loose. All of the drivers, all of the crew chiefs, everybody will be available for one-on-one -on -one opportunities at the media if you have questions, if you have things. Uh, a couple of things. Looking over the Mike Neff notes, it occurred to me, the last time Mike Neff drove a funny car, he won. The last time Mike Neff tuned a funny car, he won. If you don't think that's going to be a formidable force coming at you next year, no pun intended, that's going to be very interesting. And as far as Courtney goes, since John touched on it a little bit, she is going to start a very extensive testing program throughout the course of the year. She's going to be running on off weekends, making runs on Monday, getting acclimated with the car, much like Ashley did, much like Robert did. She may enter an event or two towards the end of the year, but she's not going to come out and challenge for the championship in 2011. She's going to keep her rookie status and be back in 2012. And I can't help but think, that the same team that taught Ashley how to drive, from the A fuel ranks, the super comp ranks, the A fuel ranks, and up into being a back-to-back -back indie winning funny car driver, is gonna be teaching Courtney to drive. That's a pretty good group to have on your side, and of course, she'll have her big sister to lean on as well. I've seen Courtney drive A fuel cars to the winner's circle. I've seen Courtney save A fuel cars that should have crashed, and anybody who was in Seattle last year knows what I'm talking about. She's gonna come along, she's gonna do just fine and there's gonna be a new generation of force coming up. Yeah, what, junior dragsters in about five or six years for the kid, right, Ashley? <laughs> Congratulations to you and Danny. Thank everybody for coming again. All of the drivers, all of the members of the, of, uh, the race team will be available for media. If you have questions, you want photos, 
please stop and ask them. If you want to see the new studios downstairs, pretty spectacular. If you haven't been through the facility recently, take a walk around and take a look. It is an incredible place. Thank you again for coming. Thank you for helping us spread the word. And all of you on Ustream, thank you for watching along as well. We'll have more news coming up in the future, but I think that's enough for one day, isn't it? Thank you, John. Thank you to everybody that came.